All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between John Volante and Daniel Cormier. So here's the 38-year-old Daniel Cormier, UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. This is a man who has taken on all comers and has largely been unblemished in his UFC career. The wrestling obviously is what he is known for, but he's got a lot of pop as well and has really rounded out into a complete mixed martial artist in the big show. Daniel Cormier is one of the best wrestlers to ever compete in the UFC's heavyweight division. And with that work ethic, he has brought his striking up to an elite level as well. He is amongst the very best in the sport. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's going to be comfortable in all areas of the game. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D. And now introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, 10 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Belmont, New York, John Malachi. <laughs> and with the attribute, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready to fight? Ready. And we are underway. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Good defense there. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Single leg. Oh! oh! This could be it right here. Oh, head kick! Big, Big body shot! shot. To the body. <laughs> Lands an outside leg kick of his own. How about that shoot? Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Nice inside leg kick. Tries for a low single. First takedown attempt is there. And he reverses position. Both hooks in. Look at this. Oh, he freed it up.
Reversal and into full guard. Half guard here. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, he got reversed. Now he's moved back into full guard. Good shot to the head. Cormier gets up again, but he looks hurt, Joe. wrestler, a world-class athlete, and an incredibly determined fighter. He has ridiculous hand speed, outstanding skills in all areas, and the mind of a champion. Now he's got his back. Good punch. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Big body punch. And they both stand up. Well, oh, nice right hand. He hurt him. He's in big trouble. Wow! Wow! Man has his chin been tested early. What a wild exchange! Oh, perfect entry to slam him down. In half guard now. Eye starting to swell significantly now. And he gets reversed. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. Back up to his feet again. Cormier goes for the takedown. He misses. <laughs> Underhook here. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh! One and a half minutes now to go in round two. Dropping down, looking for a single. Nice jab by John Volante. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving. Oh, nice massive down. slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. Nice reversal here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, that's a good strike there by Corbin. 30 seconds now to go in the round. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Goes for a single. Wow! That's it, he's like out! That. He is out! Over. Wow! What a knockout! Man! Beautiful knockout victory right as the round was ending. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. And let's look at that from another angle. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. 
They'll be talking about that one for some time. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Daniel D.C. All right, so another big win for Daniel Cormier here tonight. It's not always the prettiest thing, but it is certainly effective. He can wrestle. He's got a very opportunistic submission game. The takedown seems to always be there when DC needs to go to it. And I think the fight IQ is really what jumps out of the arena for me here tonight. This might be the smartest fighter on the roster. He's got the toughness to back it up. DC, perhaps a future UFC Hall of Famer, certainly getting the job done here tonight.